Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Minecraft Proximity Chat without any other outside uh, mods or anything like that. This is pretty useful if a lot of the people on your server uh, either are too lazy to install Proximity Chat mods or maybe they just can't figure it out. But it's a lot simpler and it just requires you to set up stuff on your server rather than any everybody else on the server. So the two things I should get out of the way before we start this is that well one you're gonna need a an actual minecraft server for this because it is solely plugin dependent so i just use pebble host just because it's cheap and it's plugin friendly so yeah the other thing you're gonna need is to actually link your minecraft uh server to filezilla this will allow you to configure the plugins and everything and finally i like to use notepad plus plus to configure the config files and everything but I believe you can still do it with the normal notepad, but I'll link notepad++ in the description just if you want to actually download it and do the same thing as me. So now we want to actually go to the plugin page here. I'll link this in the description. And after you click download now, you're going to want to go to this link, which is the installation instructions. And that'll bring you here. Now, first thing it tells you to do is download these four plugins. You're going to want to do that immediately. I already have them downloaded uh, right here. You can see I have all of them downloaded. So, yeah, after you do that, you're just going to want to go to your FileZilla with your server in it and copy all of these or just move them actually into your server. And this one will take a while. The, the Vixio takes a little longer. But after you do that, you're going to want to log on to your Minecraft server, or actually restart the server first, and then log on to your Minecraft server, so that all of the all of the files for the plugins will be created, and you can configure them. So yeah, after you've restarted your server, you're just going to want to log into your Minecraft server, and when you join, there should be a little message in the bottom, yep, see? script a new version of script is available and i'll show you that you've done at least up to this step correctly but everything is still not configured so we're still going to have to disconnect and continue with setting it up so after you're done restoring your server and logging in logging out you should notice that in your filezilla and the plugins all these new folders have been created for each of the plugins now you're going to want to go back to your um scores installation guide and i'll tell you that you need to unzip the sports proximity chat the original download you got it should look like this file right here and um you're gonna want to drag that into plugin slash script slash scripts so uh, you actually for me i have to go back to my desktop and let me delete this one real quick I have to actually drag it onto my desktop in order to copy it in there. So let me just drag it there. Go back into FileZilla. Here is the the path for it. It's script, scripts, and then you're going to want to drag the file into here. So just like this. And there you go. The file's copied. So after you copy the file, you're going to want to restart your Minecraft server one last time in order to complete this installation. And from now on, it's just going to be setting up the Discord bot and filling out all of your config files. So I'll see you after we restart the server. Alright, so once you finally restarted your Minecraft server one last time, you're going to want to go onto the Create Your Discord Bot section of this. And you can see that it's the next... Uh, installation instruction here so it has the the discord developer portal right here in order to get to a website where you actually need to create your bot now i've already kind of set up a bot a little bit this is a new one from my own server it's a uh, i just named it scois test bot and you are going to want to uh before I add this, it gave me a little thing, add a bot. You're going to want to do this, and it'll bring you to this little page. So if we see here, it says that you want to uncheck the first box that says uh, public bot. This will make it just so that, you know, nobody goes using your bot willy-milly for your private server. And then on privileged gateway intents, you want to go to server members intent and... Uh, 
check that to true there. You're also going to want to check administrator there. Now, after you're done with all that, you're going to want to go to the OAuth2 section here and check mark the bot section here and then check mark the administrator box there. And then you're going to want to copy this link here and paste it into the browser. So just paste there, enter. And now you should get a captcha, I believe. This is my new server that I am setting up this tutorial for. So after you do that and you hit the captcha, the test bot should join your server. If it doesn't, you definitely did something wrong. And just in the bot creation part, probably not in the plugin part, but yeah, I would just go over that again if it did not join your server. It's also just a new temporary server that I created for the purpose of this video. Okay, so when you're done with all of that, it's finally time to fill in the configuration file. This is the very last part of the tutorial here. So you're going to want to go to this file directory, the plugin slash scoice slash config, and I'll go here right now. The scoice folder will only be created after you reset your server for that final time, like I mentioned. And now I'm going to drag this out of here and edit it. If I can get it out of here. There we go. So now you're going to want to edit it. Like I said, I use Notepad++ to edit it, but that's just me. You can use regular Notepad, I believe should work, but yeah. And so here are all of the fields that you can customize. These last two are just um, options in the plugin. So this is the radius and uh, like where you'll be dragged to the same VC as someone, what radius of blocks you need to be in. Uh, I like to set this to 50 personally, but you can set it to like 100, 1000, whatever. But I like to set it to 50 personally. I also don't use push to talk, but you can configure that as well. So now on to the main three bits of key information here. The token on Discord bot, the and the ID of the server, and the main channel that you're going to connect to in order to connect to proximity chat. So the bot token is uh, pretty simple here. It even explains it on the installation guide. Uh, select your create application, go to the bot tab, and under the bot's username, re retrieve its token by clicking copy. So if we go back here, the bot tab, and here is your token right here. And you just want to click on copy. Uh, obviously, you're going to delete this bot after this because you don't want your t to give your token out to anybody else. But yeah, this is my token here. So you just paste that in between the little hyphens there and you're fine. Now, the ID of the Discord server and voice channel. First, you have to go to your user settings and go to appearance and turn on developer mode. This is the only way you'll be able to get these and everyone can do it. So for your server, you want to right click it. And now at the bottom, after you turn on developer mode, there should be a copy ID button there. And you want to click it, paste it into the server. And there you go. That is the ID of your Discord server. And now you do the same thing with your voice channel. So I'll just make it general. Uh, I <laughs> normally would not make this the general VC that you use to connect. But yeah, you want to go to copy ID and then paste it into the voice channel. And there you go. Your whole thing is mainly set up now. Just configure these bottom two things uh, to however you like. Go to file, save, close this out. And now we can finally plop this back into. You can delete the one here and just paste this into, back into there. And there you go. Now when you restart your Minecraft server, uh, it should be all set up. So I'm just going to restart it real quick and then I'll be back uh, just to show you that it works. Okay, so I've restarted the server and I've gone in game. Uh, let me just slash time set day here so it's annoying. 
But yeah, so now it should pop up with all this stuff about SCOIS, that it's ready to operate and everything. Now, the way you actually make this work is that you have to type in the command that everyone that is planning to use the proximity chat needs to type this in. You have to do slash SCOIS link, and this will link your actual Minecraft player to your Discord account so it actually knows how, like, who to drag in. So, if this does not say your bot name, what you made it, or your Discord server, uh, you did something wrong there. But if everything is alright, you want to send this code, you want to DM it to the bot on Discord. So, mine is 538767. So, I'll go back to Discord. And the bot should be online. So, 538767, I believe it was. Want to DM it to them, and you should get this. Your accounts have been successfully linked. Now connect to the voice channel general. And if I go back to my server here and I click on general, you'll see that it actually connects me to Scoice One, which people will be dragged in here if they're 50 blocks away from me. Obviously, I don't have anybody on the server with me to actually connect right now, but. That is how it'll work. So yeah, with that, you're fully set up. And now everyone who comes on the Minecraft server, all they have to do is slash scoice and DM the bot that would, and you're all set to go. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. It did take a little bit of time to try and set up properly, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.